everyone talking about Classica by Bornikoff, the notes in this are bergamot, lemon, neroli, orange blossom, rose, heliotrope, iris, sandalwood, olibanum, labdanum, castorium, birch tar, patchouli, vetiver, rosewood, vanilla, tonka bean, ambergris, and musk. I thought that I would really dislike this. Um, I mean, Bornikoff is definitely not my type of fragrance house usually. They're always very high quality, but they tend to be in that very like fancy upscale direction that just isn't my type of scent that I usually gravitate towards despite so many of my favorites matching that price-wise. Um, but And also the notes here just looked really hit or miss for me. Some of my favorite notes, but also some I don't care for. And again, given that so much of it is centered on like how they're blended, and I don't usually lean that way towards Bordnikov, but I like this. It has a sour and pungent side, but in kind of like a vintage way, not like modern experimental sour pungent or something. Leathery, animalic, smoky matched with some like powdery florals and astringent citrus plus like woods and some rich vetiver that comes out more as it dries down. I do think that a lot of people might find this challenging, including me in the past, before I smelled as many things like this. And you do have to have kind of a specific preference to like it. But at this point, I really do like these type of vintage scent profiles of like leather, floral, animalic combinations. Reminds me a little bit of Oroville by Zerjoff. That one's full bottle worthy for me. And uh, yeah, this is the type of scent where the longevity and projection are nothing wild, but the scent profile itself somehow just like packs a major punch, if that makes any sense. Just like the type, the smell when you smell it is very like, oh wow. And again, to emphasize, it definitely has a vintage feel like towards the first half of the 20th century. That always feels like I should be saying 19th century when I mean the 1900s, but it is the 20th century. Um, but yeah, really surprised at how much I like this. I would say very unisex, moderate to good longevity and moderate projection. So pricey, 350 for a 50 milliliter, but made with very high quality ingredients, and it does smell pricey for what it's worth. And I'll link in the description where you can check it out.